Believe it or not, you can actually use Excel as a barcode generator to streamline your business's inventory management process. In this video, you'll learn how to create scannable barcodes in Excel in two simple steps. I will also show you how to generate random barcodes. Let's get started. Here we have our company's products and we need to create a barcode for each using the product ID numbers to track inventory. The first step is to insert an asterisk before and after each product ID number. To do this, select the cell next to the product ID, type an equal sign, and then enter an asterisk before the product ID by entering an asterisk in double quotations. Next, enter the ampersand symbol and select the product ID to combine the two. Lastly, add the asterisk to the end of the product ID by typing another ampersand symbol followed by an asterisk in double quotations. Now we can fill this formula down the column to format all the product ID numbers. Once all the product IDs are in the correct format, the second and final step is to update the font to Libre Barcode 128 to create the barcodes. If you don't have the Libre Barcode 128 font, you'll need to download it for free by searching Libre Barcode 128 font in your browser and then downloading the font for free on any of these websites. Once it's downloaded, open the folder, double click the font file and select install. After it's finished installing, restart your Excel to access the font. Now let's look at how we can generate random barcodes in Excel. Here we have the same product data with the formula we wrote in the first example, but now there are no product codes. We can use the ran between function to randomly assign an ID number to each product. The ran between function returns a random number between the top and bottom arguments. In this example, we want each product ID to be seven numbers. So I'm going to enter 1 million as the bottom argument because it's the lowest seven digit number. Next, we need to enter the largest seven digit number as the top argument. So I'm going to enter 9,999,999. Now we can fill this formula down the column to randomly assign a number between those bounds to each product and our barcodes will automatically update. To wrap up, we learned how to create scannable barcodes in Excel in two simple steps. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel for more.